In this video, we'll learn how to identify the elements or object that is taking the maximum space in your PowerPoint presentation. Now imagine a scenario. You create a, a really groundbreaking PowerPoint presentation and you're ready to send that to your colleague uh, or emailing to your, your boss. And then you realize that the PowerPoint presentation size is really big. And so it might not be able to email. And so you go back to your slide pack, remove the images that are not necessary. You save the file. And then again, you notice that the file size are hardly reducing much. And so the culprit in this case often is the template. So if your company, if you're working for a company or any business, often they they have a business template that you usually are expected to use. And these templates have a lot of different section and a lot of background images and so on. So sometimes those images are the one taking a lot of space. So let's take an example. So let's say I'm creating a new project. So I'll go and and I'm going to use my super company uh, template and I'm going to create my new presentation. And this is pretty fancy, so I really don't need this. So I'm going to delete this slide uh, and I'm just simply create a very simple basic PowerPoint presentation and I'm going to save this. Okay, meeting notes. Right. And so I go and it's like, okay, this looks simple and straightforward. And then I go and look at this file and it's 4.63 MB. Literally, I have just a three lines here, right? And so you wonder what's going on. There's nothing that I can remove to reduce this size. And so as I said, it's usually the template and the images in the template. And so many times, you know, in our case, there's one or two images, but many times the company template have a lot of different images. And so one way to, to actually fix this is actually to create the zip file. And so let's go ahead and copy this file. And I'm going to rename this as .zip, okay? And it will say, well, are you sure you want to change the file extension? I said, yes, okay. And once you create the zip file, actually it is it is a combination of different files. And so you, if you open that, uh, you can see the content in the PowerPoint presentation. And so it comes with its own set of folders but usually, if you look in under PPT folder, uh, again, you can go through these and look look for the culprit image. So in this case, I'm going to look for media. And right here, I can see this one image itself is taking 4.3 MB. And so if I'm not using this, I just need to remove that. Now, ideally, if you are going to make changes to the template, it's better to talk to your administrator and just inform them about the issue and let them fix this issue so that others may not have the same issue like yours. And so the best way is just to let them know if there are images that are really big, uh, just reduce the size so that it doesn't take a lot of space and create unnecessary large PowerPoint presentations that are difficult to, to email and so on. In our case, you can delete this. Let's go back and let's just rename this to PPTX. And now I have this PowerPoint presentation. Let's look at the size of this. It's only 376 KB. So we were able to reduce this from a really large size to much smaller and actually more reasonable size. I'm going to close this. And so this is how you actually identify the, the, the culprits. Uh, often these are those images that probably, you know, the admin found online or some, some big images. And then usually they actually go and reduce the size in PowerPoint, but the actual image size is still the same. And so they, they don't, so that often people don't realize that the size of the image is still embedded into your PowerPoint template. And so the ideal way to go about is to resize that and then embed those images. And so in that case, you know, your PowerPoint presentation will be much smaller and so on. And so I hope you learned something new. Uh, all you have to do is change to .zip and then it becomes a zip file. And then you go inside that, look at the PPT folder, and then usually the embedding or the media is, is the folder that contains the largest size. And then you can reduce the size of your PowerPoint, PowerPoint presentation. So I hope you like something new or you learned something new. If you did, please click on the like button. And if you like the content of this channel, then please subscribe to my channel. All right, thank you.